I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where we talk about everything crypto daily. Jump in right into the market. Today in crypto, Bitcoin, small bounce in the lower term time frames. Can we get some short term upside? Would anybody like some short term upside? Let me get an order of short term upside. Bitcoin, four hour chart. So there's this double bottom type pattern possible. Can we just get a move to about 51, 52,000 out of this possible double bottom? Um, Bitcoin likes to reverse on double bottoms. However, I mean, you've got this price action broke lower and bearish retest. Right? So you have to have, the bulls have to show me something different. I mean, price action's just been working in this range, right? Bullish scenarios start to be considered if the bulls can break and hold above 53,000. Otherwise, you just had a bearish retest of this major resistance, resistance, right? So this was the previous floor and it was tested as the ceiling got rejected. So will the bulls run up there again and will they get rejected the next time? We'll have to see. Zoomed in to the lower term time frames. You've got your low and then this is a higher low. Okay, but I mean, this is just consolidation, part of a downtrend breakdown of a falling wedge and so i mean bulls you really have to you got this like little double bottom here right that's possible um you had some you got some green uh in the markets right now we'll talk about some coins on kucoin had some upside right now it's like hey let me let me find let me find where the money's gonna flow when this market takes off all right if, if it continues to roll over hey you know what at some point it's gonna bounce and we're gonna buy into strength and we're gonna make a ton of money period I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. We got 5,900 subscribers in the group for a reason. This person, and I get this all the time. Shout out to Mr. Bayer. I've been watching you for a year. I joined the group last week and I wish I would have done it a lot sooner. Like the, the thing is, like this is become so clear once you understand these ideas. That's all there is to it. This person joined the group three months ago and he turned 30,000 into 50,000 $50, in his first month. This person turned $133 into $13,000. It's like 98X. I'm gonna make sure you're in the best, most profitable trading setups and I'm gonna keep you updated nonstop all day. Right now, if you sign up, it's 60% off six months or 12 months. I will help you make a ton of money in this market. Pure. Remember, you go over to the website, cryptorev.net pays for itself it's a no-brainer cryptorev.net if you go down into the description of this video there's a link take you directly to this website remember if you have any questions email me crypto bitcoin chris at gmail.com this is kcs i posted this chart previously we're up 14x compared to bnb when it was a dollar 82. this is bnb we're up 19x on bnb Remember Gala, Gala, I gave it to you guys on the 9th, two days ago. I said, support pullback for entry is the best. Gala banging, 24% gains in two days. Support pullback entry. These things in a downtrend, when Bitcoin's trending lower, you have to learn how to buy it support. Chart these coins, get trading view, no brainer. Go to KuCoin, make an account. There's a VIP link in the description, trade on KuCoin. You've got some amazing small caps, NFT projects. So you can, you can go, this is Metaverse. And so you see PYR, Metaverse up 13%, Wild up 10%, NT, VRK up 9%. But then I went to NFTs. So wait a minute, 27%, 23%, Haka up 19%, Mnet up 18%. So I mean, you got some good double digit gainers here, right? And so... Obviously, if you bought support for Bitcoin, and again, we're at this point, it's like jump in, jump out, looking for, I mean, short-term trade, all your trades start out as short-term trades, right? Could be longer-term trades, depending on what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin's got to show me something different. Otherwise, it would be completely normal to think you get some type, I mean, just the measured move of this breakout is this distance. So it'd be completely normal to see a move up to like 50, 1,300, 51,400, right? I mean, breakout. Of, of this pattern if it rolls over everyone's going to be talking about this head and shoulders pattern right shoulder head shoulder 
If it rolls over and Brett loses this level, then you're looking at this type of downside, right? And so it's like everything in trading is an if then statement, right? If this happens, then expect this outcome. If this happens, then expect this outcome. It's not hard. You don't have to be the best analyst in the world to make a ton of money in this market. You just have to understand like these bounce ideas and these reverse. It's all about reversals. Just imagine if you knew or had a high probability that you're going to nail a reversal, right? If you're able to nail these and, and while this, listen, the hardest part about pattern trading is while the pattern is, this is just in its beginning stages, right? You're just starting to have a, a potential, I mean, is this a double bottom? I mean, it has to break this level, right? If this thing it has to break this level and then retest here for good amounts of upside, right? So at this point, you're just basically trading this range, these swings, right? You're buying at support, selling at resistance, buying at support, selling at resistance. And that's just what it is. You have to adjust for what the market gives you. BTC. So we talked about if Ethereum comes down here and retests, right? Ethereum BTC retests. This would be bullish. Remember, the last time that Bitcoin broke above this level, you had this crazy altcoin season. and Bit Alt Ethereum ran from $700 to $1,400. And this was also the end of the bull market last time. So we're just basically watching this chart. We're not trying to predict anything. I want to just have a, I want a signal to go long on Ethereum on a bounce and retest here. Ethereum USDT, again, this thing needs to bounce. I mean, it's at the support level. Every time it hits a support, you've had to bounce, 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 right? And so, I mean, the support needs to hold, it breaks lower. I would not hold Ethereum, that's for sure. And USDT, again, You've got this falling wedge. There is a 68% chance this breaks out to the upside. Now, will it break out now? Or will you see one more drive to the downside, right? You've already had, okay, if you just look, understand this idea. Look, sand was down here at $3.90 and it ran all the way up here to $8, right? Dow theory says that for every impulse move, you get a 50% retracement. So if you're holding here, you lost 50% of your profits on this pullback. If you get a bounce after a big pullback and this high is lower than this high, sell, 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 sell. Lower highs are exit signals, okay? Because otherwise you would have avoided all this drawdown. So now you want to see sand break out with volume this lower trend line. And again, if Bitcoin bounces, it just makes it that much easier, right? It's easier for these altcoins to perform and Bitcoin is working with us. Right, so understand sand, USCT targets are over here. Pay attention to that. If you get a move lower, we'll try again later. Okay, this is an if then statement. If this happens, Bitcoin has to cooperate. Attention, Bitcoin, attention, Bitcoin. You have to cooperate for these things to play out. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.